Were there any okay. warning signs at all? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. No warning signs? No warning signs? And this no. is Vic Manassian, the father of the accused, Alec Manassian, as he left Finch courts today just, saying, uh, I'm sorry, minutes, I can't, uh, to the family. hordes of media gathered there. Inside court, he wept throughout the proceedings, clearly distraught that his 25-year-old son is facing such horrendous charges. Now, Pam Seidel was in the Richmond Hill neighborhood where Alec Manassian has lived for a number of years with his brother and parents. Residents there describe the Manassian family as good people, even expressing sincere sympathy for them. But we have also been hearing from them that Alex appeared to have had some mental health issues. One neighbor told us that he required special help through public school and that while he was often out running or walking, he exhibited unusual behavior. He was odd, he just, you know, most people say hello, he used to at least say hello, and he wouldn't, he'd just keep going. While neighbors watch as police come and go, they're expressing deep shock that someone from their quiet suburban street is facing 10 charges of first-degree murder and 13 of attempted murder. Because while odd, they have noted that they never saw any indication of potentially violent behavior from Alec Manassian. But one post on his Facebook page suggests, at the very least, an admiration for violent acts and also gives us some insight into his state of mind. The message was strange and posted shortly before the alleged attack. It reads in part, the incel rebellion has already begun. We will overthrow all the Chads and Stacys. All hail Supreme Gentleman Elliot Roger. You may remember Elliot Roger, who killed six people in California in 2014 before killing himself. His apparent motive was anger and frustration over his lack of success with women. While Roger didn't start the so-called incel movement, it was after his rampage that the word became widely known. It means involuntarily celibate. Chads are sexually successful men and Stacy's are unattainable women. We spoke to a sociologist today about the incel subculture. It is mostly young white men between the ages of 19 and 30, according to some research that came out of Grinnell College. And so you see that this is a population that is anticipating a particular kind of social standing that real life isn't offering them, and they're looking for things to blame. These are also young men who have felt themselves victims of bullying and, uh, and who haven't reached the kind of success or popularity that they had hoped for. We have also learned that Alec Manassian spent a short, unsuccessful period in the Canadian Armed Forces, lasting only two months. A statement from the Department of National Defense read in part, he did not complete his recruit training and requested to be voluntarily released from the CAF after 16 days of recruit training. Defense Minister Harjit Sejan confirmed today he was a recruit last year. We go through a very rigorous uh, uh, process in terms of security, um, medical testing, making sure that uh, the people that uh, are going to be doing the Canadian Armed Forces um, have been uh, thoroughly, thoroughly screened, and in this case, uh, that, that was done. Manassian went to Thornley High School just south of here. One of his old classmates posted this message on Facebook. I had classes with him. He was mentally unstable back then. He was known to meow like a cat and try to bite people. This is one sad and confusing story. And it's believed Alec Manassian went to Seneca College for computers and was in software development. Apparently, he may have even developed a parking app while there. The college did release a statement to students and employees today. While it did not confirm Manassian went there, the message said that one student was killed in the rampage yesterday and called the reports associating the driver with Seneca extremely troubling.